Hi guys, today we will be looking at subject and predicate. Now, a complete sentence is divided into two parts, the subject and the predicate. What is the subject? The subject is what or whom the sentence is about. Now, what is the predicate? The predicate tells something about the subject. Here's an example. Roy is wearing a black shirt. The subject is Roy. The predicate is wearing a black shirt. We're going to look at some more examples. The boy is with his mom. The subject, the boy. The predicate is with his mom. The tall boy is with his mom. The subject, the tall boy. The predicate is with his mom. Roy and Sam are playing outside. Subjects, Roy and Sam. Predicate are playing outside. She and her brother are playing in the pool. Subjects, she and her brother. Predicate are playing in the pool. Makai, Mikhail, and Sandra went to Jamaica together for vacation. Subject or subjects, Makai, Mikhail, and Sandra. Predicate went to Jamaica together for vacation. The store owner, Devereaux, gives us free books whenever we go to his store. Subject, the store owner, Devereaux. Predicate, gives us free books whenever we go to his store. Laura, my sister's best friend, plays dominoes with her family. Subject, Lara, my sister's best friend. Predicate, plays dominoes with her family. The old school on the corner has a corn garden in the backyard. Subject, the old school on the corner. Predicate has a corn garden in the backyard. The pencil on the table is pink and red. The subject, the pencil on the table. Predicate is pink and red. Here are some very helpful tips that will help you when you think about subject and predicate. The predicate normally begins at the verb. Remember, when you divide the sentence or a sentence, it should be divided into two parts and all the words 
must be a part of one of the part. Either the subject or the words are a part of the predicates. Thank you very much, everyone. I really hope this video was helpful. Please remember, you can look in the description and you will find other videos related to grammar and also videos that can help with reading. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!